which is blessings. And we're going to ask that you kindly remain standing for the national anthem. A pleasant afternoon, all. Let us pray. O oh, eternal Father, we thank you, mighty God. Dear Lord, we thank you for life, dear Lord. As we gather here this afternoon, mighty God, we pray that you be with us, dear Father. Mighty God, I pray that you be with each team, dear God. Dear Father, give them the opportunity to showcase their talents, mighty God. Dear Father, I pray, dear God, that there will not be any injury, dear Father. But we will all have fun in this tournament this year, dear God. And mighty God, that as I said, they will be given an opportunity to showcase their talent, mighty God. Dear Lord, help them to make themselves proud, their schools proud, and the entire Federation of St. Kitts Nevis proud. We give you thanks, honor, and glory for being with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, land of beauty, our country, where peace of all thy children stand free. On the strength of will and love, with God in all the struggles, sink it and leave his peak. A nation bow together with a common destiny. As the words we stand for justice and liberty, with wisdom and truth. We will serve and honor thee. No sword, no spear can conquer, for God we shall defend. His blessing shall forever to posterity extend. Okay. Mr. Kevin Barrett, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports et al. Mr. Brian Dow. Deputy Director, Department of Sports, Mr. Carlyle Powell, President of Nevis Cricket Association, Mr. Tyrone Hendrickson, TDC Sponsor Representative, Family Members of late Mr. Ronako Morton, Charles A pleasant afternoon. is a tiny island called Nevis. With talent galore. Testament to such lies in the ability to have produced the first Leeward Island cricketer to play for West Indies cricket team, Mr. El Comido Willett, at the age of 19. Although, all along with six others, namely Derek Parry, Stuart Williams, and Ronaco Morton and Kyron prove themselves to support the Maroon Jersey. It is here a tournament such as these that we plan to unearth our next set of many Maroons as they begin to sharpen foundation skills such as line and length, bounce and spin. Batting grip and stance, field placement, soft and even, even hard skills such as data analysis. Today, we are here for a short but very significant ceremony to witness the commencement of the Ministry of Education, Sports, TDC sponsored Ronaco Morton Primary School Cricket Tournament 2023 after a two year hiatus. This tournament has been highly anticipated as all eyes on the coveted trophy and various other awards during this short, but what we intend to be a highly competitive tournament to culminate the closure of schools and sporting season for student athletes. Without any further ado, I would like to call on the President of the New District Association, Mr. Carl Powell, to make some brief remarks. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and in the interest of time, I'll ask you to allow me to adopt the protocols, save and accept 
I always like to acknowledge my student, who is now the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education. Mr. Barrett, sometimes it makes me feel old to say you're my student. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Nevis Cricket Association is excited about the story because it will help us to unearth new talent. It will help us to see where the next players are coming from. And for the last three or four years or so, Stuart Williams, along with Wendell Wallace and uh, Belly Maynard, and with a little help from myself every now and again, we have had a group of players who have been training. But I dare say that half of the players in Nevis are not represented. So this tournament will give us new talent. It will, it will put pressure on the 15 guys who have been training. Because after these matches, some boy, some girl, some boys, and some girls will make runs, take wickets, field well, and you will say to us that you must be included. So I'm looking forward to seeing these matches. Something else I'm looking forward to, Mr. Deputy Director. You see the same way that the football finals were played under lights? I want to see the finals under lights. So that's a challenge for you. Let us make sure that our young players can play at a time when their parents are off. They finish working and they can come to the E2 Willet Park because they want to see our young players playing under lights. Apart from that, when this tournament is completed, we still have more cricket to go because the West Indies Cricket Board in conjunction with the Republic Bank, they will be having what you call five for fun. Each team will be made up of eight players. That is the squad. For the team for matches, it will be made up of five persons, three boys and two girls. And we will be playing that five for fun. The top two teams will go to St. Kitts to play against the top two teams in St. Kitts. And then hopefully, the winning team will get a chance to go to St. Lucia to play against the five for fun winners down in that area. So we have cricket to look forward to. I want to wish you well. I plan to see as many of the games as possible. As a matter of fact, I've already indicated to umpire Carl Tuckett that I want to umpire games. I can't umpire today because as soon as I finish speaking to you, I have to make sure that I can catch a boat to go to another assignment in St. Kitts. So I will not be seeing you play today, but Nick, I'm going to ask questions. All the boys who are in the program that is being run by Stuart Williams, not putting any pressure on you, but I expect you to accept. Do well, and I will come to watch you. I will come to make sure that you're doing good, and I will come to make sure that you are emulating the players who have gone on before from primary school cricket to play for the West Indies. And you heard about Ronako Morton. Ronako came out of the Joycelyn Lybert Primary School, went all the way to the West Indies team. And he was followed by Kyron Powell, who came out of Joycelyn Lybert Primary School, went all the way to the West Indies team. We want to see more of you doing that. So good luck, do well, and I'll be checking on you. Thank you very much. Mr. Kevin Barrett to make some brief remarks. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Newton, and if you'll allow me to adopt the protocol that you have so ably established, but I, I really want to single out our sponsors, TDC, long-standing, and also Miss Morton Midge, sister of our local hero, Ranako Morton, under whom we are having this tournament in his honor. Ronako has been a very good friend of mine over the years, and it is indeed a pleasure of the Ministry of Education and Department of Sports to have this tournament under such a name. It's a name that we have to embrace and to keep 
in our memories because of his tremendous contribution to cricket on Nevis for the Leeward Islands and for the West Indies cricket team. And as my dear teacher said before me, that we are looking at you to continue that legacy. The Joyce Den Leibold Primary School, he outlined, has made a significant contribution to Nevis cricket, to the Leeward Islands cricket, and to West Indies cricket. And no doubt, there are others of you in our other primary schools who could make also, in years to come, a significant contribution to our cricket. So the Ministry of Education is indeed happy that we are putting this tournament on so that you as youngsters, even at this age, could have an opportunity to showcase the new talent. I call it the new talent that you are now honing. Because this is just the start, and I want you to see it as just the start of great things that could happen. You will have an opportunity to play against your contemporaries, if I could say that. Children of similar age. It means then that you are not less than the others. And so we look forward to indeed a very, very good tournament. This afternoon is also a, a proud moment for us in Nevis because of the recess that we had through the pandemic. We looked forward to a day such as this. We looked forward because cricket and Nevis is almost inseparable. And it was truly difficult for us to go through those years of the pandemic and not to have sports, not to have especially cricket. So it's indeed a delight for us this afternoon to have the first day of the, of the tournament, this opening ceremony, and the first day of the tournament. And I want to wish all of the schools the very best. Play hard, play safe, and may you have a very, 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 very good tournament. Thank you, Mr. Bard, for your kind words. We're going to call on an ardent supporter of the cricket. I see him here, day in, day out, whenever the cricket is playing. The representative from the sponsor, Mr. Tyrone Hendrickson, to say a few words. <laughs> Greet him as he comes. Good afternoon, all. Mr. Chairperson, I wish to formally adopt the protocol already established so ably by yourself. And I would like to bring warm greetings from the TDC group of companies on the staging of the 2023 Ronako Morton Primary School Cricket Tournament. As you may already be aware, we are currently celebrating our 50th anniversary under the theme, Your Neighbor, Your Partner, Your Future. This celebration marks a significant milestone in the history of our company, where the focus on youth and sports continues to play an integral role on our corporate social responsibility agenda. From the onset, we understood the value and impact that this contest plays in helping to inspire, as well as harness the individual collective potential of our promising young cricketers. As the principal sponsor of this tournament, we are pleased to endorse this year's competition to provide another platform for our young men and women to learn many life skills to help foster and promote wholesome development. Some of these skills, honesty, trustworthiness, respect, and civic responsibility are hallmarks that will help to give our young men and women the opportunity to understand the roles that they play on the field and off the field. That is, in the home, school, and by extension, their very own communities across Nevis. I encourage you to use your full potential to raise the bar to improve the standard of the game and create a launching pad to turn out not just talented but exceptional players like our very own, the late Ronako Morton, 
and current people such as Stuart Williams, Keith Atherton, and Kyron Powell to aspire to make the Nevis local team, the national, which is our national team, Leeward and the West Indies team in the very near future. We extend best wishes, every success to the Department of Sports as they continue to contribute meaningfully to the expansion of sports and youth development across Nevis. We wish you all the success and may the team that exhibits the true spirit of sportsmanship win. Let the games begin. I hope everyone has a successful tournament. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. For those who are here, we are hoping that you're going to stay with us. We have two games today. Today, VOGN will be playing Ivor Walters Primary School first. Then JLPS will be playing CPS. So stick and stay for some cricket, lovely cricket. Now, we're going to have Miss, Mrs. Governor Manners and Jackson for the officials' oath. My brother, she comes. Good afternoon, all. Kindly allow me to adopt the protocol ably established by the chair and here to do the official's oath. In the name of all officials, I promise that we shall officiate in this TDC sponsored Renarco Morton Primary Schools Cricket Tournament with complete impartiality, respecting and abiding by the rules which govern them in the true spirit of sportsmanship. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Manners. We're now going to have the players' oath by Giovanni Hamilton from St. Thomas's Primary School. All players, please stand. We promise to play fairly, to play to win, but to accept defeat with dignity, to observe the laws of the game, to respect teammates, opponents, coaches, umpires, officials, and spectators, to promote the interests of cricket, to honor those who defend cricket's reputation, to help others to resist corrupting pressures, to denounce those who discredit our sport, to use cricket to make a better world. To use cricket, you, you may be seated, sorry. To use cricket to make a better world, that sounds lovely. Now we're going to call on Mr. Carl Tuckett, the coordinator, for some closing remarks. Clap him as he comes. Good afternoon, all. Uh, I think I can use the player's oath and um, say, let us go and pray after the player's oath. I think he would have said um, enough, said what I wanted to say, um, but I would follow protocols so that it could be very much established um, for the closing of the ceremony. First of all, I would like to say thank you to the Ministry of Education and Sports for coordinating and having this tournament in 2023. Can we give a rousing round of applause to the Ministry of Education and the Department of Sports? I think the chairperson, um, Mr. Alger Newton, has been doing a wonderful job. Um, I think he's in good form because he would have cheered the inter-primary, he would have cheered for the football, and now he's, so he's in wonderful form. And if he was batting today, the ball would have been coming out of the middle, like how he's um, stroking those words. Um, so, Mr. Alger Newton, you've been doing a wonderful job. 
I'm very delighted. I'm very delighted. I would say this. I'm very delighted that the invocation was done by Pastor Gene Amory because Pastor Gene Amory would have one time played for the St. Thomas's Primary School in this said competition. So, Pastor, I'm very glad that we had you to give us, invoke God's blessings on the uh, TDC Renard Comoton 2023 in um, Primary School Cricket. Pastor, thank you. The National Anthem, Neymar Hamilton and Dwaniqua Elliott of the Joycing Library Primary School. I think you did well. Can we give them a rousing round of applause? Those two young ladies did a great job in the rendition of the um, National Anthem of Sinkets and Nevis. The President of the Nevis Cricket Association, Mr. Carlyle Powell, addressed us and uh, went off very quickly, but we're very happy um, that he did. Um, uh, we, he also said that he will be working with us in collaborating with the umpiring and um, the scoring electronically. We'll be scoring electronically um, this time around. I hope that by the time, uh, maybe the next round, you'll be able to go on to the, um, the live stream, the live scoring, and get updated scores as the game goes along. So that is something. And while we're on that, um, P.S. Barrett, while we're on that, I hope that next year, I know uh, Mr. Paul um, spoke about uh, having the, but I'm hoping that we can have the, the, the this opening ceremony being live stream for 2024. So Mr. Barrett, that is something that, I know a lot of things on the desk, so, but at least something is going to add um, um, to you. Uh, you're capable, so we, we can give you. Again, thank you, um, Permanent Secretary Barrett, for um, giving brief remarks on speech that cannot be condemned. We're very happy. I'm going to say this. We have a hearty thank you for TDC, St. Kitts, Nevis, Anguilla Trading and Development Company Limited. TDC, TDC would have been sponsoring this tournament for 28 years. This year is the 28th year of sponsorship for the primary school uh, cricket competition. So can we give three cheers to TDC? Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. All right, I hope they heard us even down Newcott uh, at TDC. They would have gotten that. So again, um, Mr. Hendrickson, convey our congratulations and our well wishes as usual to TDC and thank you and your company for sponsoring for 28 years. Um, the manager director in um, Mr. Ernie France has said that he wants 2025, the, the year 2025 to be a big year for the primary school cricket. That would be the 30th year of sponsorship. So um, 2025 should be, he, he would be starting to put a committee together. Um, that would be um, organizing for the 20, not to say that we're not going to have cricket next year, but 2025 is going to be, uh, to be big from, from TDC. The official oath, Mrs. Governor Manners, thank you. The, as I said before, the players oath, Giovanni Hamilton, you did a wonderful job in that. Again, all the participating schools, Charleston Primary, the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary, Ivor Walters Primary, Joycing Library Primary, St. Thomas's Primary is the defending champion. You know, St. Thomas's have a lot to defend here because they are the defending champions and Violet O.J. Nichols Primary School. The Nevis Cricket Association, um, the Nevis Cricket Empire Association, all school had teachers, sports officers, coaches. We say thank you. All those who volunteered in helping with the preparation of the teams, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Mitch Morton and your family, we're very glad to have you. The sister of Renata Morton, we're very glad to have you. And you've been here the last couple of years, and, and it seems as though you're always welcome here um, for this. Um, the TDC. Ministry of Education, Sports, Renarco Morton Primary School um, Tournament 2023. So we're very happy to have you. Um, our groundsman, Micey Wendell, Micey Wallace, ETWP, and um, VOGN. And now we'll be having some games at the Zion Plain Field for the first time. Um, we want to say thank you in advance to the Eastern Cricket Club and all those who have um, any connection with the Easterns um, Cricket Club for uh, hosting us for two games there. That those games will be played on Friday at 1 and the other one at 3 o'clock. We would like to have a meeting with all coaches downstairs. 
as soon as the um, this um, opening ceremony finishes, we would like to have a meeting with all coaches downstairs. It should be very brief, um, just to go in playing conditions and things like that to make sure that we, we are on the same page. And again, I wish everybody very well for, for this year's um, tournament. Um, I know Miss Fraser don't like her name to be called, but she has been working very, very hard behind the scene. And again, everybody, thank you, and let's enjoy and have a wonderful TDC um, Primary School Championship Cricket Tournament 2023. Thank you. Well, the Renaka Morton Primary School TDC sponsored Primary School Cricket Championship is about to bowl off in a wee bit. We have had the official opening ceremony. But more than this, more than the opening ceremony and more about more than the schools that are involved, the man behind the, the actual tournament name, Renaka Morton, well, I have his sister Midge on my far left and maybe I could first of all get an introduction because the man on my left almost has a Runako look, so he has to be related. So tell us a little bit about your connection to Midge or to Runako. Well, growing up, I've always looked up to Runako. He's a cousin of mine. And when I used to come from England, I always used to want to see him because I'd always hear about him playing cricket and also see him playing cricket on TV. And growing up, it was always an inspiration to me. So I'm honoured to be here at this ceremony to encourage the youth to play cricket and play sports. Just tell us your name. My name is Aaron Webb. Midge, you would have watched Ronaldo play probably all your life. Um, tell us, um, for the benefit of these youngsters who are going to be playing today, tell them a little bit about Ronaldo the cricketer. Uh, where do I begin? Ronaldo the cricketer. I think... Above and beyond him being a cricketer, I think the one word that sticks out in my mind is somebody who was very passionate about their craft. Anytime you see Ronako, passion spells all over his face. He was really committed to cricket and he worked hard towards it. He had a natural talent, yes, but I think what we need to encourage and remind the youngsters is that you have to work hard to develop your craft and to try and mold it into you know the special one that you want it to be. So Renako always worked hard, he was passionate, he was um, aggressive with his approach towards cricket. You know, he loved to play the shot. Sometimes he put more force into it than what was necessary, but I suppose that was his trademark. I want to thank you so much for representing him and representing the family. Um, this tournament has been going for some 28 or so years. I don't know if you know this as well. I would have been recording this tournament from its inception. And so I'm still looking for it. Um, there's somewhere, there's a video with Ronaldo Morton representing Joyce and Lever Primary School. The day I find that, I find gold. And I'll certainly share it with you. Yes. But um, we want to thank you all for sharing Ronaldo and of course we look forward to an exciting tournament. Yes. All the best to the schools. I don't want to say I'm supporting my alma mater, Joyce in Liber. Did I say that out loud? Yes, I'm supporting my alma mater, but I want all the schools to do well. I'm familiar with lots of the kids at VOGEN because Stuart does his training over there and a lot of the kids um, who are part of that training session, training group are from VOGEN. I know a few from Charlestown and so on, but I just want to encourage all of them to respect the oath that they delivered today and you know to respect the game of cricket but overall have fun and make it competitive last words to the english cricketer may the best team win <laughs> well said 